Hey you guys, so now in this video I'm just going to show you um, after you jailbreak your phone what it is that you want to do um, after you jailbreak it you still have to go to Cydia and do your APN settings so that everything works smoothly. I do get pictures, I will show you my text pictures that I've gotten. Hold on one second. Let's see. I'll just show you what I sent my friend because I don't want to show her kids. You know, I don't have permission. I'll show you mine. See, those are the pictures that I sent. And you can you know that they went through because um, they would have a question mark, I mean an exclamation mark on them if it doesn't go through. So there you go. What you have to do is I'm gonna have to get closer for this. I'm just gonna put my phone in your face. <laughs> okay. So um you're going to go to Cydia. I don't know, I'm still holding that. It doesn't help. So I just went into Cydia. See, that's Cydia right there loading. Then you're going to go to Manage, then Source. And then all you have to do is go to Edit, and then Add. I hope you guys can see that. Hold on. My city is deciding to reload. You just hit add. And then you're going to get um, that little thing right there. Let me show you what it is that you have to add. Um, it's this one right here. I'm going to put all this information on the info box. You see this square with the X right there? Um, sorry guys, I know this does not look good. Um, it says um, Cydia.x as an X-ray, as in Sam, E for Emily, L, L, I for Igloo, Z for Zebra, E as an Emily, dot com. And then backslash. And then you're going to hit add source. And then you're done. After you add the source, you're done. And then um, you're going to go to search. Okay, so you're going to search on Cydia and you're going to search tether me. Tether me. Right there. You see it has a little check mark? Tether me. That's what I used. You click on Tether Me, and then all that's going to download or whatever, and then your phone will ask you to reload it. You, you can try, when it, when, when it says reload, you can try to hit the home button, and then your phone might not reload, and it, you can go from there. But, I'm going to tell you that if it reloads, that means you're going to have to plug it back into the computer and reload your jailbreak. You don't have to hit, it, it's gonna give you some options. And the video that I linked you guys on the other video, and the video that I just made, talking about the H2O wireless, has the video link on how to jailbreak it, and he will tell you that you don't, after you jailbreak it, then you're gonna go to, you're gonna unclick Cydia, like don't you have to unclick it and click just reboot so every time you turn off your phone or reload it you have to plug it in and click just reboot because this is a tether jailbreak not an untether and at some point the untether one will be available so your safari will not work either until you reboot your jailbreak you have to do that in order for it to work after you did all that and your jailbreak is on and everything's working fine, you will find that when you go to settings, when you go to settings and you go to general, and then you go to, um, sorry. Then you're going to go to networks. And then the cellular data now is going to be there now. 
before it was not there, but now it's going to be there. And all you got to do is um, go to Celery Data and enter this APN, which is att.mvno. And then on, you can leave that, the voicemail, just the way it is. Don't touch that. Just go to straight to MMS and put att.mvno. And then when you go down here to the um, the MMS SC, it should look just like mine. One of these is going to have like a number at the end. Just um, backspace all that out and just leave it alone. Just like mine. The way mine looks. I hope this is focusing because if not. Uh, all this information will be in the info box. Everything that you see here will be exactly the same on the info box so that you don't have any doubts that you're entering everything correctly. Um, and that's it. And then you should be working. Everything should be working. Just You should have no problems with your iPhone. Everything should be working. You'll, get, you'll be getting 3G uh, internet. And then you can also send out MMS. And you FaceTime works. You don't have to do nothing. Make sure you turn on your FaceTime and make sure you turn on your 3G. Because sometimes it will be off. There's like an on button for that in you know in your settings. So make sure you do turn those on. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please um, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.